Welcome to Keyboard Heater. This is Keyboard Heater AngularJS Episode 4. Episode 4 is about AngularJS project structure. Today's agenda AngularJS project structure and content walkthrough. So, previously we have seen how to create AngularJS scaffolding using Yomar and we have also talked about run so in this video we are going to take a deep look about the AngularJS project structure and content walkthrough so your your support is all i need so please hit the like button below and please subscribe my channel for upcoming latest episodes on AngularJS so let's begin so this is visual studio code and this is the application that previously we were working on so we used Yeoman, Grant and Bauer to create scaffolding of this AngularJS application. Now here Yeoman is a scaffolding generator tool that we can use to create a bare application structure for some modern web framework such as AngularJS. So in our previous video we have seen step by step how to create scaffolding of an AngularJS application. So for some reason if you have missed those videos so the links are given there in the description below so i'll request you to go through the videos to get an idea about the process so here in this video we will take a deep look about the AngularJS application or the solution structure so here we can see on the left hand side of visual studio code we have our solution loaded now here mainly we have app folder Bower components, dist node modules, test, and few supportive other files. Now within app, we have our main contents such as scripts, CSS, and other thing. Within Bower component, we have all the Bower packages that we downloaded and installed using Bower install command. And within dist, we have the build package that we have created using grant and within node modules we have all the node packages that we have downloaded and installed using npm install and within test right now we don't have such test cases written but in future to do unit testing of our own components we can write down unit testing within this test folder so now in the previous episodes we have seen like how to download Bower packages using Bower install and how to download node packages using npm install so again for some reason if you have missed those videos so the links are there in the description below we have also seen like how to use grant build command to create build package of our AngularJS application because end of the day for deployment we will not use this complex solution structure rather we will use grant build and we will create a build package out of it and will host that or deploy that in any web server in the later video we will talk about how we can create unit testing using karma and jasmine framework so now let's have a look what we have inside this app folder so the convention is like to keep all the contents application related contents within this app I mean application related main contents within this app folder now it is up to you that whether you want to create another folder called app files within app and you can keep all your controller services within that app file folder and you can have all this index.html then 404html all these things outside of that app files or rather what you can do there is one more convention is there that you can follow as well that is to create a scripts folder inside this app and to have all the javascript files inside the scripts folder so inside the script folder I'll, re I'll request and suggest you to create a subfolders called controllers so that you will have all your controllers within this folder called controllers and outside of this controllers folder you can have other javascript file that you have within your application 
Now, as because the MVC pattern has been followed within AngularJS framework as well, so you can see this naming convention and the folder structure somehow matches the MVC folder structure. Okay. Now, now within an AngularJS application, not only controller, we can have services as well. In that case, within the script folder, we will create another subfolder called services because that will be again a JavaScript file. So, likewise controllers folder, we will create another subfolder called services. Similarly, if we write down some directive, so again we will create another subfolder called directive. Similarly, if we write down some factories, again we will create a subfolder called factory. So, all these controllers, services, factories, directives, subfolder will be there inside the main script folder and out of this angular specific javascript file if we have anything else like app.js or some other script file that we can keep outside of the subfolders but within script folders now in the later video we will talk about factories directives services and all so do not get confused about all this term now moving on to the next folder that is styles so now within the styles we will have our css file so right now we have only one css file so that is there as main.css within our views we will have all the html file now here you can segregate the content a module specific html file or module specific css file you can create subfolder out of it and you can you can put them inside the styles main folder or the views root main folder such as for example within your application you have one module called dashboard you have one module called login so within the styles you can create a subfolder called dashboard and you can keep all the dashboard related css inside that folder and within your views you can create another subfolder called dashboard and you can keep all your dashboard related html file within that subfolder called dashboard and as because we know like uh, you might have heard about the master page concept so here also in this AngularJS application we have one master html file which is index.html so this index.html as because this is not module specific so that is why we kept this index.html out of this subfolders but within the main root folder which is app folder now moving on to the so i think we have covered the app folder now moving on to the disk folder so the structure of this disk folder is not in our hand that is something totally controlled by grunt build task itself so we are going to execute grunt build and it will create this disk folder for us and this is going to be our build package which we will be using to deploy on a web server then within uh, test as we have already talked about in future whenever we will write some test cases unit test cases so we will keep them inside this test folder now in AngularJS words this test cases are called as spec so that is why you can see as because right now we have only one controller which is main controller so that is why within test we have one subfolder called spec and then we have controllers and then we have main.js so in future as we will having multiple controllers so we will keep on adding them inside this controller subfolder when we will do unit testing for our services so then we will add one subfolder inside the spec folder as services similarly for factory we will create one subfolder inside this spec folder called factories now we covered the main root folders or the main folders within the solution now it's time to take a look to the files that we have outside of these folders such as grunt file.js bower.json then uh, package.json so in our previous videos we have already talked about all these files 
so these are the file that we required to support our application such as within our application whatever the external dependencies that we have that we are going to inject using power and npm so all the power dependencies are there inside power.json and all the node package dependencies we have inside package.json and this grant file.js this is our build master or build tool which is going to automate so many tasks for us during this build cycle and going to give us a build package that we can use for deployment so previously we have already seen that how this grant works within AngularJS application we already talked about in detail about this grant file.js and all the components that we have inside this file so again for some reason if you have missed that video so the link is there given in the description below so I'll request you please go and have a look so that you'll have a clear idea about this grant implementation within the AngularJS application so in this video we have talked about AngularJS project hierarchy or the solution structure and the content details that we can easily create using Yeoman, Grant and Bower. So in the later video we will be talk about more about AngularJS. So if you like this video please leave a like below and please leave your feedback in the comment section below. And please subscribe my channel for upcoming latest episodes on AngularJS. Till then, thank you very much and have a good day.